Welcome to Let's Play Star Fox Assault. If you were disappointed at Adventures, don't worry. This is more of the Star Fox that we wanted. At last! And it actually controls well. And don't you worry, if you were disappointed in Adventures, I was. <laughs> if you were disappointed, good. <laughs> yeah, that, that means you, you, you know what a Star Fox game should be. Yeah, it's a lot like this one, actually. With that amazing orchestrated... He's here! <laughs> soundtrack. He's here! Hey, hey, how's it going, ladies? I'm the conductor. I use my beak. <laughs> <laughs> I love that pose. Detecting gate transmission outside the combat sector. Look at that fresh new great fox. <laughs> Damn, that yeah. money helped. Thanks, Dinosaur Planet. That two hundred dollars really went to uh, went to good use. <laughs> I really like these. Well, Fox, looks like we're not too late. They do all sound like they're talking into a tin can, though. Yeah. Yeah. The audio quality in this game is, especially for the voices, generally really bad for some reason. Almost all common scum in it for the money. I don't know if it's compression or if they actually put a chorus effect on them. The They're only in it for the money. Do you know any other group that's like that? <laughs> Sweet Jesus, look at that picture of Andrew, who in this game is referred to by his last name for some reason. Yes, you must take him down. I'm counting on you. Now get prepped and go. Well, like, they're not going to call him Andrew like Let's they know to... him. They're not friends. <laughs> well, they call everyone else by their first name. Why not him? Andy, what's up, buddy? Going to kill you. So be careful out there. I feel like Rob was supposed to be talking there, but he didn't say anything. <laughs> the outcome of this battle hangs on you, team. Robo chewing gum. <laughs> Are you all ready? Nah. I don't. <laughs> but look at this. It's Star Fox. You haven't changed a bit, Rob. Can we just appreciate this? Look how Star Fox this is. In this particular opening level, there's a bajillion things to shoot. It's very satisfying. I played through the first level just in, again in preparation for this game. Uh, and oh my god, it's it's such a good Star Fox level. You also get point bonuses if you take out small squads of enemies. And I really love the soundtrack to Star Fox Assault. It's just so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's fully orchestrated. It sounds great. Now, one question that does need to be answered at the end of this LP. Uh, we are fucking gushing over this game right now, but will we continue to be gushing over it in part 10? Oh, assault has plenty of problems, don't worry. Yeah. For now, let's just enjoy the assault. Our final yes. I'm not worried. <laughs> We're dying, sir. So? <laughs> uh, okay. One thing I realized playing this game as well is this is the one game in existence where I prefer inverted controls. It's not inverted by default, I think, and I just had a rough time controlling this game when the controls weren't inverted. <laughs> Having fun there? I think I'm trying to figure out how to boost. <laughs> it would look more like Fox was like, and a one, and a two. Adjust G diffuser system output. Oh yeah, Fox talks really fast. <laughs> he is hyped up this entire time. So here we are in Fortuna. Uh, you remember, Fortuna in 64 was the ice planet. That was actually supposed to be Ficina. Ficina is also in this game, and they actually got the names right. Fox, these guys are all over me. Get rid of them. Uh, so they didn't decide to pull a Capcom and just keep getting it wrong for 30 years. I guess I owe you one. Uh, that's, that's classic, Falcon. Yeah, I guess I owe you my life or whatever. <laughs> I owe you a lot more than that. I ain't paying it either. Yeah, yeah, strong boldly, folks. Also, your opinion on this may vary by who you are, but Falco is a lot less of a dick in this game. He's more of just like a, a lovable douchebag. I think that's how Falco should be. Yeah. yeah. Just like a hard ass, but like, you still like the guy. And he, you know, he's a little rough, but he's not a shithead. Yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. It's 64, he didn't care if you lived or died. <laughs> you saved my life. Here, have a bomb. We're even. <laughs> that was square. Go blow somebody up. Maybe a school? Wink. Huh. Falco, no. <laughs> a school of bad guys? You know, like a school of fish? Like, yeesh. Don't blow up a school of fish either. Read a thesaurus, Fox. 
<laughs> okay, about how a thesaurus isn't gonna do anything. <laughs> that was so hopeful. <laughs> I feel like you helped him by accident. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Fox, you're such a hero. Yeah. Yeah, I am. <sighs> of course, Slip. Any anytime. Although with his new voice, it's more like, of course, Slip. Anytime. Of course, Slip. Anytime. It's like he's sneezing. Of course, Slip. Anytime. Here we go. Stole from Crystal. Crystal's a lot more fun in this game because she's in it. Because she has something to do. <laughs> I was yeah. gonna say, because she does stuff. So thankfully, Andros is finally long gone. There is no Andros. But of course, his nephew's gotta bring his memory back, let's say. Boy, can you ignorant ape. What are you up to? Careful, Fox. You never <laughs> to my knowledge, there's no spoilers, I guess. There's no bait and switch in this game. I'm pretty sure Andros is actually not in this game. There is no poorly written plot line or forced thing where it's just, oh yeah, by the way, it's Andros. What kind of line is that? <laughs> but Oikuni's robot talks with its mouth. <laughs> I really wanted him to say, you think we're dating? <laughs> Don't hug me. Pelvic thrust with no pelvis. Hey, Throat thrust. <laughs> you are literally gonna blow up. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I mean, I thought that I, I really hoped that happened, but it did. You know when you're talking shit and someone shoots you in the head. <laughs> so we got this mysterious moth thing. So this is our antagonist for the game, the Aperoids. Hooray, a new idea, even though they're basically bug borg. You, you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, it's something different. And Bug Borg was a really rough time in the Power Rangers timeline. <laughs> and not Star Trek, where the Borg are from. Oh. I remember that old Beetle Borg show that was kind of made by the same company. <laughs> Is that more what you were thinking, Jacob? I, I, yeah, I was thinking, like, Borg, like, doesn't everything in Power Rangers end with Borg when it comes to the robots? N no, some of the men with Zord. Close enough, Yoshi. Get off my ass. <laughs> Wait, what's that? I don't believe. Fox, you have to get that. Really? Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I mean... Do not adjust your set. We were not watching this video at 1.5 times speed, but you should be. That was awesome, team. Nicely done. I see you have a. That was awesome, me and the rest. <laughs> nice thing about the difficulty levels, you get a score multiplier at the end based on what level you're at, and usually that multiplier is going to get you up to the badge anyway. I did also go through it again in gold. Just to show how high up it gets, it does actually get kind of difficult later. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, during my playthrough of the first level, I played it on the hardest difficulty, and it was, it was pretty challenging. I mean, I'm not the best at Star Fox, but I did have a rough time. I just think it's funny that he got a silver and he was just like, that was awesome, team. And he gets a gold. All right, that was a good start. Could be better, but, you know. <laughs> like, Fox, you can't do any better. No, 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 there's room for improvement. Don't get a big head. Uh, Crystal, it would have been really great if you shot that guy at the uh, three-minute mark. Fox, the trouble with being an empath is I feel them die. <laughs> Why am I on this team? <laughs> do you think I actually care about the time? I feel <laughs> death every day. You don't seem to have a problem with it. Hey, yo, Crystal, I feel death every day, too. It's called work if a Star Fox. Hey, yo. You know, you could have stayed gone. Yeah, I could have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm considering it. Members of Star Fox, a grave danger. I am not a crook. The Linux <laughs> system is in power. I am a dog. How do you know? I find it weird we that you know. said members of Star Fox and not just Star Fox. You on all the details. Don't want to Hello get confused. Again, Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I woke up from a long <laughs> night of drinking. You never told me that. <laughs> it's <laughs> Beltino. <laughs> it's Slippy's dad. Slippy's dad, yeah. Continue. These aperoids. Aperoids? You know, it is Indeed. nice that his name is so different from Slippy. Trailer. If this was a normal cartoon, his name would probably be like Sloppy or something. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say just dad. <laughs> 
It's too quiet. Where the f- <laughs> <laughs> Let's make some goddamn Something noise. It's too quiet. Pulls gun out of his ear. That's better. <laughs> I like how this game answers the question, why doesn't he just have a gun? He does. Because it works. This is our second control type. This is basically a third-person shooter, and as we mentioned, you choose at the start of the game which control style you want. There's like two separate controls for the R-Wing and for on foot, and also for the other vehicle in the game, which we're going to be getting later in this part, in fact. But you need to specifically choose, I think, the second choice because it controls like a modern third person shooter. All the others control terribly. Yeah, I, I feel like just people don't know that. Every time I hear people criticize Star Fox Assault, it's like, oh, the tank controls, they're really bad. And it's like, my friend, let me introduce you to your best friend, the options menu. Well, I got my hands full, but what else is new? <laughs> I kind of like this too, like he's usually in the R-Wing and now they're doing interesting things to keep him like, hey look, Fox doesn't always have to be in an R-Wing, he can be on foot and he can just summon a Landmaster. Like I like that you have different options. Sure, it's scripted and you have to do that. Thanks, <laughs> Peppy. And I feel like his quipping here sounds more like how Fox would actually talk. Yeah. As opposed to, imagine if this was Star Fox Adventures, Fox. Ah! Great, Peppy. Why do I work with you? Peppy, thanks, you idiot, you old bitch. Peppy, I think you should have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I root for your death every day. I like what you said. He doesn't always have to be in the R-Wing, but here we are on land, and two minutes in, he's like, can I have a vehicle, please? I don't feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> Landmaster is fun, though. You can just <laughs> drive into enemies. You can activate the jet and just send them flying. Fucking Tony Hawk in this shit. I like that improvement to the Landmaster. Before, if you just ran into anything, you took damage. Yeah, like a tank wouldn't do. <laughs> That's the spirit, Fox. Also, that was a really great uh, field goal attempt you had over there. Thank you. I learned. I watch football now. Have you? I haven't been watching football this season. Oh, I have. Oh, good. I, I'm going to stop because I will absolutely make this football episode. <laughs> <laughs> Star football assault. Oh, man. That's the next fucking Star Fox game. Oh, boy. You thought Federation Force got some shit. <laughs> Star Fox fucking American football. For whatever fucking reason. Hey, Fox, go log and catch me as he jumps out of the <laughs> archway. Spread eagle, catch me, Fox, like he's in ballet. <laughs> no, they're actually on a football field, and Falco just leaps and spins like a football <laughs> in the air. They're disgusting. Hey, they're on the other side, too. <laughs> it almost sounded like it was gonna say, hey, they're on our side, too. <laughs> Falco, you goddamn idiot, look at the fucking radar. He's just petting one. They're on our side. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I call him Scraggly. <laughs> All right, I'm changing his name. Hi, Yeasty. Yeast. <laughs> <laughs> nice sloppy. <laughs> How the fuck did these things get in there? They fell from the sky. Like our friends. Well, you know how, like, bugs can, like, squeeze through little cracks and they just piss you off when you miss one when you try to kill them with your sandal? <laughs> Got it. Then you have to sleep with the fear that the roach will <laughs> climb in your mouth while you're sleeping. Well, that's not the fear I have. The fear I have is that, uh, I'm gonna see it in the morning and I'm gonna fucking miss it again. <laughs> that's the best case scenario. I, I literally had a dream last night that my car was covered in spiders. <laughs> and the only... <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd bring that up. Did this level bring that memory back? <laughs> I guess. The memory of last night, yeah. D damn it. D damn it. Oh, 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 hold on. Fox, gotta say, you look really stupid right now. You guys have the fucking flying R wings! Shoot the targets! We'd have to nosedive in order to do that. You can land the R wing! Remember what Jacob said about that one train level in Star Fox 64 that made sense because you had to nosedive? It's the same thing. Who's Jacob? He's a real smart, handsome guy. <laughs> Who's Jacob? He's beautiful. <laughs> that Jacob guy shared a pizza with him once. 
dyed his hair blonde. It looks really nice. So this one, we need to go into elevator over here. Thanks, Crystal. I know that. <laughs> hey, it looks like that distress signal is no longer transmitting. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. This is just dumb. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. <laughs> har har. Oh no, my selective you deafness know, just kicked in. It was you? This is I'm here. I'll just help myself. I was setting out a distress signal because I can't breathe. Is it that important? I'm gonna be rich. He's got a pickle painted on the side of his ship. <laughs> Oh, like a little pinup on a plane. That, that's kind of cute. Dang! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Dang! Rated T for T. Well, shit. Pigma's back. He seems to be working on his own. Yeah, my favorite guy. He killed my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and then he stole my junk. But it is nice to see other... Ew. But it is nice to see... <laughs> <laughs> it is nice to see other members of Star Wolf actually doing stuff on their own. You know, like Falco. Yeah, member of Star Wolf, <laughs> Falco. <laughs> One day I would play the fuck out of that kid. Be a good twist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it would be like for the dumbest thing ever. Be like, all right, all right Falco, we're paying you uh five thousand credits a day, and then Wolf is like, we're gonna pay you five thousand and one credits. Well, Fox, I guess I gotta turn over <laughs> to the dark side. Technically, you've been outbid. <laughs> <laughs> we are mercenaries for hire. Nothing personal. It's just he's richer. Yeah, I really need that extra corn on the cob that I'd buy with that one dollar. <laughs> you know, so I could throw it at Slippy. For when I inevitably come back eight years later. <laughs> and then I'll come with a new outfit and I'll, hey guys, I'm back from my third bike again. Can I join Star Fox again? <laughs> no. no. No, you can't. Come on. I'll make you rigatoni. <laughs> if I let you back in, will you not make me rigatoni? <laughs> All right, but I'll make you some Foxachini. Eh? I changed my mind again, no. I'll use your actual hair. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Burns pretty good. Tickles the throat. Oh, it tastes like Sonic. Because it gets stuck. I know you said it at the end of Star Fox Adventures, but I'm going to say it in assault. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Falco <laughs> either. <laughs> don't you idiots. Holy don't shit. This is part of Lord O'Donnell's <laughs> territory. You idiot. Hey, who let you in? My name is this Ruffy. Is I was team. born to crime. For a hog named <laughs> you Careful, Fox. Uh, you too, Crystal. Sorry, I had to look up. You too, Crystal. Have they just been awkwardly flirting for the last however long it took for between Adventures and Assault? Yes. Because they were clearly into each other at the end of Adventures, but now we're here, and they're still not officially together. They still just cannot deal with each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Crystal thinks Fox is still kind of a jerk, and Fox is just like, God damn it, why was I Adventures' version of me when I met her? Listen, I'm not good with girls. <laughs> or anybody, really. Or children, or people. <laughs> I'm still a virgin, actually. I'm the only person I know that keeps track of a kill count, so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, the only, I'm the only person I know who gives myself bonuses for killing. <laughs> and medals. This is my pickup line is my uh, kill sorry. count for the day. How are things on your end? <laughs> my kill count for the day is I'm gold eight, metal, Crystal. Okay. What? Let's get this operation That's mean. <laughs> uh, there's two things I wanted to point out. The first one was, uh, you think Peppy would be a little more angry when he found out that Pigma was out there? Yeah. The guy that used to be part of the original Star Fox team and is the reason why James died. He's just like, ah, Pigma, dang it, he's out there. I don't have the energy to be angry these days. <laughs> The second thing was, like, our character, our beloved ruffian, uh, even when <laughs> he went out of his way to address Wolf as Lord O'Donnell's area, so Wolf is around here and he owns part of the quadrant. Listen, I don't, I don't ask him to do that, okay? He does that on his own. I, I, I think it's embarrassing. Oh no, oh, ruffian, no! Oh, thank God, ruffian is back. They got cousin ruffian. <laughs> Hey, cousin Ruffy, and let's go bowling. Oh no, he died. All right, yep, the bar is getting kind of high, so you have at least 25 minutes before it gets all the way up. 
but you're dead. <laughs> In hell. This keeps up. The enemy forces will take this quadrant. Lend me a hand. You know, this quadrant where they live. <laughs> well, we're trying to take it back. They're overrunning the place. Well yeah? It's like diving into an ant farm. Be like, oh god, they're everywhere. You fools. What are you idiots up to now? It's the boys. There he is. Look who's here. Sporting a sexy new voice. And a sexy new theme. Watch your step, Fox. Okay. In addition to Rob, I prefer Wolf's voice in this game. I don't prefer Leon's. No. I love Panther, he's such a dumbass. Yes. We're just here for Pigma, okay? Shut your trap and Oh my god, Wolf, I don't care. Pigma. But there is one thing. I might be biased because my first exposure to Wolf was Brawl, and he had that voice in Brawl, but I really do prefer this. <laughs> I'm thinking you boys owe me an apology. God, he's, he's hot. You're gonna have to send it to me in writing. Got it. That's easy to say. Just, just saying that Jacob is a f not a furry party is over. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf is your fur key. Yeah, I don't give a sh I don't give a shit. I don't about labels. Screw it. Listen to that trumpet. Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Quiet of that shit. But yeah, this is one of the best versions of Wolf's team. Panther also, his voice is very nice. What do you think of my voice? Um, I mean, your last voice was, I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> nice work, Fox. You're pretty good in a pinch. You're pretty pinching a good, fine. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're pretty good when you pinch me too. I don't think I've ever been called a pretty pinch before. Did you call me a bitch? No, 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 of course not, no. I mean, technically, in terms of species, uh... I'm gonna run into this asteroid right now. <laughs> That's what I feel like doing anyway. Actually, I don't, I don't know if female foxes are called bitches. I, mean, I don't know if that's just domesticated dogs or not. I really don't want this conversation to happen anymore. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, unlike in 64, I think you kind of need to charge and target Star Wolf in order to get hits on them. They're a little hard to hit otherwise. Me? Me? <laughs> me, 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 shrugs as he explodes. But then where did Pigma go? Ah, great crystal. <laughs> Words do you no justice. I am Panther Caruso. Here's to us. Oh, Just licks the glass on his ship. <laughs> He's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is that idiot? How can I resist this beauty? It's all the way over there that I can't see. You talk too much. Let's go. Remember this, Fox. Why the hell did I add you to this team? Because I can speak in language. Wow. <laughs> uh, panther language. <laughs> oh, it's Spanish, I guess. You know, whatever. All ships are home. Wolf's team was amazing. You did well. No, they <laughs> weren't. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of sucked ace. They, they blew. <laughs> Wolf's team was amazing. Lee, awful. Yeah. I'm ditching you guys. I'm joining their team. <laughs> <laughs> Falco's like, well, so Star Falco, I got the first mission for <laughs> you. Wolf's gonna read me bedtime stories to sleep. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the life right there. And Panther will do all the other voices. Once upon a time, there was a sheep. He ran. <laughs> <laughs> bah, I'm the sheep that is running. <laughs> <laughs> is that the whole story? He ran. <laughs> <laughs> Bah. <laughs> there, once upon a time, there was a sheep. Was. And then I showed up. <laughs> I am a wolf. I'm getting kind of hungry. Eats the book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a grandma. And then I ate her. And then I ate the girl. 
Good night, Fox. Uh, rar. Uh, um, uh, that was my. Oh, that was actually my line. Rar. You know what? Can I not have Panther in here next time? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read the three blind mice. Three blind mice. They were born disfigured. Well, that's <laughs> that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's just dark <laughs> he just like tears the book in half well that was fun oh kind of like you wolf <laughs> yeah after I shot you in the eye it, yeah I remember that you know <laughs> three blind fox three <laughs> blind fox that's your future see how they go away from me get back here Pokes him in the eye and runs away. <laughs> oh, my other good one! Fuck. See anything that looks like an entrance near there? Yeah. Uh, a door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the the entrance. Don't even think about dying before I get there. Ah, uh, okay. I thought about it. <laughs> That's usually my choice. You're right, Falco. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I I didn't consider it, but now. Normally I would die, but I guess that would hurt your gotcha. feelings, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know how come we don't use this more often? Hey, don't question it, fucks. This would be great to addition to the R-Wing itself. Rapid fire, so I don't have to keep mashing the fucking A button. Uh, the fucking A button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wow. what it says on my R-Wing, at least. Did you just shoot the R-Wing itself? You could shoot the R-Wing. Ah. Yeah, I don't believe it actually takes damage if you shoot it yourself. Guess who's a member of Star Wolf now? <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys' voice aren't your voices aren't sexy enough for to hang around me. <laughs> he puts on an eye patch on the other eye. <laughs> Whoa, get off me! <laughs> There's something about that pan. It was, it was a little comedic. Well, I just like how Fox has already saved Slippy and with all no different joke. play styles. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Fox. That was an embarrassed thank you. It's like, okay. It's just like, all right. I know, Fox. I know I'm the problem. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I, I know, I know. I'm disappointed in me, too, but let's just move past it, okay? This is getting too real. <laughs> this is very much a Jacob depression mentality. It's bringing me down. Those bots seem suspicious, so I checked them out, and they were aperoids! Are you sure? Yeah. Aperoids so must be able to was very happy to have found machines. out that. We're screwed! That is true! <laughs> 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 hey, these ghouls don't give up. Thanks for the help, Fox. <laughs> I like how he said that then because it looked like you shot him. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Fox. Jostle that thing out of my ear. <laughs> that gun that I kept in my ear. Oh, you too? Yeah, I, I I I couldn't believe it neither. Why do we keep doing that? It really gets in the way. It's, really, it's good storage. I ain't got no pockets. Well, I refuse to wear a backpack after the last adventure. So. <laughs> Every time I wear a backpack, I have to go on another adventure. <laughs> when I put it on, all I ever hear is "fax" and I I shudder. Every time I wear a backpack, it seems that. Peppy just keeps smoking more cigarettes. I really thought you were going to say every time I put on a backpack, I gotta go to school. I can't. <laughs> I thought you were going to say anything else. Looks like is planning ahead. How did he get all these friends? <laughs> what? He's, he's so charming. Are you surprised? Yeah, remember when he threw up in half of his lines? These guys are just hanging out at the bar here, trying to make friends. Pigma trying to flirt at a bar. <coughs> <laughs> That's all he does. That's all he says. Be careful not to hit that wall. Thanks, Peppy. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> oh! Whoa, man. Don't warn me about the moving parts. Don't hit the wall. Man, Fox, you almost got uh, shipped and marked there. Clip the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> this, this way. Well, Foxy almost got your UP ass kicked. 
That was about 700 times better than what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, this boss rules. I love this boss. I remember this being a long boss. You must have really kicked his ass. I'm good at the game. <laughs> Great, good for you, Thorn. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jacob, guy who had trouble with the first boss of 64 where you just shoot his legs. I didn't... I'm gonna fucking throw you out of California <laughs> all the way to fucking Wyoming. I would be impressed if you left the recording and then Thorn's like, so the order should do... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> also, I've got rapid fire thumbs. I'm good for this. So do I. <laughs> that sounded so pained. I demand respect in this house. I respect it, Jacob. You can have it, I don't live in your house. <laughs> but if you keep talking like this, CJ may stop respecting me. <laughs> That's up to you, man. You live with them. The source of all Aperoid will, the queen herself. Makes her vile nest on their home planet. As long as the queen exists, the aperoids will continue to multiply. Pepper looks more sickly than normal in this game. Fox. Hmm? I'm sensing a distress call from Planet Saria. Saria? From Tricky? I'm not sure. But oh. Tr Tricky, oh no. Oh great. We need to go on another sidetrack to fucking Dinosaur Planet. But it, at least it has a name now. Yeah, it's, I feel like people were probably confused. It's like, Saria from Tricky, did he go to another planet? Yeah, th this game, they just decided to call it Saria, as in give it an actual name. Uh, I mean, I do like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I almost misread her subtitles of Fox. I think I'm getting a distress signal from the voice of a goon. And he's all... <laughs> <laughs> you are not wrong. <laughs> you think Fox... I know he said from Tricky, but do you think the first time he heard that name, he thought it was a completely different planet, so when he showed up, he just started frowning? <laughs> oh, it's that. Can I turn back? I saved it before. Do I have to? Karmically, can I say I'm good? <laughs> as soon as he arrives, Fox, you have to gather all four spell stones, and he does a U-turn. No, I mean, they're over there. Just pick them up. We need to move them. No one has Star Fox Adventures anymore. Oh, you. Nobody ever plays plays my dead play. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever does my accent right. <laughs> so, so like he started dying midway through. No, but, uh, uh, do they ever explicitly state like how long it's been since Adventures? Not that I know of. Because I'm gonna go and say it's been like. Two, three years? I'm not sure. They all look older. Slippy finally hit puberty. <laughs> At the age of 40. <laughs> I took my time. Yeah. <laughs> you know that one, uh, that one comedian who's like 40 years old, but he looks like 12 because he has a condition? He has a really long last name. My, my point is, I have that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, such a roundabout way of almost saying a lot of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he actually has a condition where he looks a lot younger than he is. His voice... Oh, here. Oh, uh, do you mean Melanakis? Yeah, Andy Melanakis. That's his name. Okay. I thought... I thought you were trying to go in a really long roundabout way to be like John Mulaney. And I'm like, all right, so Mulaney's not a long name. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Slippy has that. <laughs> <laughs> Something we haven't talked about. It's pretty satisfying. You move really fast in this game. Yeah. You fucking zoom. Also, Fox's tail is very weird. The physics <laughs> on it are strange. Like, it whips around, but if you back up, it whips in reverse. They won't get away with this. <laughs> really? Recording Thorn, do that. I've been doing it. You have to pay attention, Jacob. Oh. Well, I'm not good at that. <laughs> then don't tell me to do shit if you're not going to pay attention to it. <laughs> <laughs> Get used to that sound effect. 
Oh, I am. <laughs> Sounds like he's choking on water. Like he's just at a party and then... <laughs> Fox, Fox, swallow before you shoot. <laughs> Make me. Why can't any of the other Star Fox members get anybody ever? Because why would they program that? <laughs> For convenience sake, realism. Realism yeah, in my the, Star Fox, that's no, what we need. No, 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 the player has to do absolutely everything. They've stagnated as pilots. They're so used to him saving them, they're not even going to try. <laughs> even getting out of bed, it's like, Fox! <laughs> Fox, help me. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Why, why would I ever... Slippy doesn't have teeth. <laughs> At least I hope he does. That'd be horrifying. I think we all should run if Slippy has teeth. There are enemies behind you. I mean, I'm sure frogs have little teeth of some kind. You can land in wide I like the little pause for Falco so you didn't shoot him. One of us has to pay attention. <laughs> and as we establish, it's not going to be me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just kidding. I pay as much attention as my dumbass burger spray can. It's alright, man. I got you. I got your back. Your dumbass. What? <laughs> <laughs> my ass burger's brain. <laughs> All I heard was, it's alright. I'm a dumbass in school. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's, uh, let's just go with that, yeah. Chewing on his finger, I ate that. <laughs> See, like he looks at his sandwich and it's half eaten. I ate that. I ate half a day. You want the other half, Fox? Hey, come on up here. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot it through my turret real quick. Splat onto the land. One thing I got over Patrick Star, I know when I ate something. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Fox. I think I'll eat it now. <laughs> Bites his <laughs> You dumped my only food. And now I'm gonna stab. Uncle, you're the goddamn chef. You make the food. And you ate my food. Did you like it? <laughs> I'll forgive you if you like it. I do. I mean, I do. I don't know why. <laughs> like you did. <laughs> It's my influence. I'm, I'm the most influential man since uh, Albert Einstein. That's why I use his name all the time. And we're on his side. I'm not going to dignify that with a response. <laughs> now, I don't know, because I could not remember any of the music from Star Fox Adventures to save my life, but is this an orchestrated version of one of the themes from Adventures? Um... I've been listening to this music for a while, and uh, my opinion is this doesn't sound like anything from Star Fox Adventures, actually. I really wish they would have just played the picking shit up theme over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> no, just just the first part. <laughs> but in an orchestra, if it's orchestrated, and it sounds kind of nice. I think that's called orchestral shit posting. <laughs> Maybe I'll try that. That'll be my first project in, in GarageBand since I got my iPad. Oh. That what? Crystal is walking around shooting things. Maybe she actually did something. She was? She hangs out in this one section of ruins, and that's about it. Everyone's okay. There's also no boss in this level. We're going to look for Tricky. We're going to look very hard. <laughs> Oh, look! Space, Crystal! Let's go there! In actuality, we're going to sit under this awning and smoke weed. Sauria should be safe for a long time to come. Looks like it. <laughs> oh no! He's doubled! They added S's. I knew you'd come! Thank you so much! Tricky! So heavy! Ouch! <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> he broke my spleen. I'm going with you. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, thanks, Tricky. We have literally no way to get you to the Great Fox. Also, oh my God, no. You're the leader here now, Tricky. After I ran over your parents. 
Oh, Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> While you were on Soria, a colossal Aperoid Armada appeared. The majority of the Cornerian defense fleet was decimated. Again? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Jesus goddamn Christ, you blow. Please, Fox, I'm already Fox. General? General Pepper! Oh no! He's in serious <laughs> Oh, that old fool. Oh, oh damn, this is bad. General Solo Pepper, you again? doofus. We can't take the risk of all of us getting killed, can we? If I don't make it yeah, back, I want to die. To hey, next. we risk our lives yeah, every day, whatever. Fox. Just get out of here and smash those blasted radar jammers, will you? Look, Fox, I appreciate that you want me to die right after you. It means a lot. Also, he lifted his arm and looked to the left when Fox was on the right. <laughs> like, yeah, take off. Yeah, take off. <laughs> Slippy looks sad in his little portrait there. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. I will oh. never not love your falsetto thorn. Thank you. Fox, I've got enemies on my tail. This is awful. The city's been <laughs> this, <laughs> That sucks, Crystal. Thanks. It looks kind of like Wolfins. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're not, but they look kind of like it. Watch hmm. out for enemies behind you. <laughs> Thanks, Peppy. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> you know what? I need that advice. Thanks. Oh, he just woke up. <laughs> oh. One thing I do enjoy about the on foot segments is you get a wide variety of weapons. Yeah, I love that. And this does remind me a lot of Jet Force Gemini. I recently got an Xbox One I've been playing, and I actually went ahead and recorded the entire game on Rare Replay for a future LP. Boy, does this control a lot better than Jet Force Gemini. <laughs> well, it's another, like, six years of innovation at that point, so I understand that. What's this game, 2005? Yeah, and Jet Force was 99. Oh, I was exactly right then. <laughs> but even still, when it comes down to the weapons, the weapons are a lot better in this game. You have things like grenades and what have you in Gemini, and only the machine gun is worth a damn. <laughs> Dang, Aperoids. Is Corneria just like California, where it's just always on fire? <sighs> I just, like, does anything good happen on this planet? <laughs> well, I mean, it turns out all the forest fires are because of our unregulated electrical companies. So the fires are caused by other people. So, yes. <laughs> there we go. I've always had the idea to do this parody show that would have taken place in uh, Miami, New Jersey, which is not a real place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second turret section, except we're on the wolf end. This is pretty rad. This rules. Go ahead and blunder, and you'll end up as a target. What did you. It could have been all three sexy. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Could add a fucking gangbang of hot wolf, star wolf animals. Let's get a take two on whatever sentence you were trying to say there, Jacob. <laughs> let's, let's not. Also, that may have been the worst thing you've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's only the worst thing I've ever said because Leon's a part of it. He may have a sexy voice in Star Fox 64, but he's still a lizard. I like how it's just like, uh, I'm Wolf, and I'm Panther, and he! <laughs> the, <third laughs> the third one. That's what they call me in all of my relationships. He? It's the third one. Oh. <laughs> Looks like they got a thing for us. The battle's on, Fox. This is the closest you guys have ever been to not killing each other and or being like friends. And I'm still shooting at him. Okay. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about with Panther. The man goat man shoots his shot, but when he misses, he accepts it. And now I have to do my war my reps in my ship. One. Two. He's just leaning forward against the console. Yeah. Like his face is pressed against the screen. And they're just like, what the fuck is he doing? He's barreling towards the ground. Oh, I thought I thought Panther just said you're a good looking guy. He says you're looking good, big guy, which I mean same thing. Near enough. Yeah, I feel like it's close enough. In fact, that's the new canon. He said you're a good looking guy. Nicely done, Fox. Panther cannon bisexual. Wow, take me! 
and Fox is bisexual with a cannon. <laughs> hell, hell, hell fucking yeah! <laughs> that is the greatest sentence I've ever heard about Star Fox. <laughs> Bonk up. Is that the general's flagship? Oh no. That you, Fox? Too late. The Aperoids. Oh, I forgot about this part. <laughs> Why is your ship a coffin? <laughs> Look at me. Do I have much longer? I'm the one who's taking damage. What are we supposed to do? I don't care. Yeah, shut up, Barky. It's my turn. Hey, Fox, you want to get Chinese later? Looks like the <laughs> shut up, Barky. Hey, Fox. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. You could sure moan. Oh man, Star Fox 64. Oh, do a barrel roll. Uh, uh, dang. Star Fox Assault. Shoot me. Fox. <laughs> Fox. Fox, you came back to save me while I'm dying. <laughs> hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. And then we got, this is awful. <laughs> I'm on your side! For as long as it's mutually beneficial, then I will betray you. <laughs> if Tricky gets aperoided, and I'm just quitting. Why? The game would get good. <laughs> I would actually appreciate a darker Star Fox game. Like, not too dark to the point to where, like, it's unrecognizable, but, like, you can do a lot of different plot lines with it. And that's why I always thought Star Fox was one of the more interesting IPs that Nintendo has. There's a lot of stories you can tell with space. You can go darker without going dark. There's a difference between Sonic Adventure 2 and Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, yeah. I cannot imagine Falco Lombardi the game, you know? <laughs> Falco the Lombardi. <laughs> or Wolfel Donnell the Wolf. <laughs> Wolfel Donnell the Wolf. <laughs> the Wolf O'Donnell. <laughs> Wolf the O'Donnell. Wolf O'Donnell had a game. And he had a gun. I see no here, no evil. That's cause I have one eye. <laughs> I mean, I can at least see him riding a motorcycle and saying, damn. Oh, that, that'd just be hot. He's dressed for it. He wears the leather. If I could draw furries or motorcycles, I, sh I would do that. But and the fact that I can't is really a failure on me as a human. <laughs> you had a motorcycle. I know. Doesn't mean I could draw one. Uh, that's fair. You have a small intestine. Does that mean <laughs> <laughs> the point is, you can get references. I know, but even with references, some shit's just hard. Technically, you do often draw a small intestine, it's just covered with skin. Yeah, see? Wait. I think I just unproved my point. See? Get the motorcycle out of your guts and draw it. <laughs> <laughs> Take the self-destruct program. What? Kill yourself. Have <laughs> you ever thought of why your ship is so fragile? Apoptosis, huh? KYS, son. That looks bigger than a missile. That is a pine cone. <laughs> <laughs> Which, as we all know, is bigger than a missile. <laughs> <laughs> what a great response there. Is this the end? Do your best. Beltino <laughs> eating chips like, oh. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. Raw, raw, Ross Poutine. I love you, Sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> well done. We've just finished the self-destruct program, too. Wait to Let's <laughs> test it out. In mid-conversation, we just finished the... <laughs> <laughs> All blocks, orbits confirmed. Enjoy your flight. Please keep your hands and feet in space at all times. <laughs> the sound of somebody ejecting themselves is heard off screen. Oh, well, if you say so. Oh, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Always follow instructions, Slippy. <laughs> also, see you in the afterlife. Well, it's almost time. To join him in the afterlife. <laughs> I was gonna say, Peppy stands up and he just collapses. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost time. <laughs> so, Jacob, do you like this level? Fuck it. This thing does not want to die. 
I think the panels floating around it are shields. Or maybe it's just another bullet sponge. <laughs> Falco, that wasn't nice. Oof, it was Slippy's turn. Hey, he says plenty. All Slippy was gonna say is I shot a guy and he was an aperoid. <laughs> Whoopity doopity, Slippy. <laughs> Slippy turns off communications and starts flying home. <laughs> oh. Just flying into Falco's ship. <laughs> Slowly. Falco two minutes later. Hey guys, I killed an enemy and it was an aperoid. It's at this point I realized, oh yeah, the sniper rifle is overpowered. I should probably use that. Oh yeah, it is. That was a loud sound effect for some reason. This whole game is loud. I apologize to people watching on YouTube if you can't hear the game very much. That's because it's compressed to absolute shit, just inherently, and I have to lower the volume a lot just so you can hear us. Right. You can even hear it in the voices. They're almost artifacted, they're so compressed. Everything in this game is like the exact same volume as each other, and it's just such sensory overload. I wanna help, but I can't see a thing from you. I wanna help, but I don't like you. <laughs> I'm bitter at all of you guys, honestly. <laughs> that ghost won't leave me alone. Do you know how annoying it is to have your dad build a self-destructive vice and then actually use it on himself? <laughs> Not upsetting, annoying. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. Target destroyed. Way to go. <laughs> Everyone else just went, oh, okay, yeah, great. <laughs> they're not even fighting, they're just playing cards. <laughs> Between ships somehow. <laughs> yeah, they're just playing like a high-tech version of it. It's just like, hey, you got any threes? And then Crystal cheats because she has telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have the fucking high-tech deck. They're just using all of their own, and they're wondering why the game's not working right. <laughs> Oh yeah, I died at this part. I didn't expect the trap, and I had like the fifth of my health left. Fox! Hang on, my stomach hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it may not look like it, but these grenades are actually 55 pounds a pop. Made of lead. <laughs> We're firing before we even see you. What? <laughs> I can tank it. I can tank it. Are you sharp? Oh! <laughs> you can't see me at all, asshole! <laughs> I can't stand to see Fox like this, embarrassing himself. <laughs> oh. I did not know Crystal was down here. Oh yeah, hey, you're, you're down here. Also, the enemy's that way. Okay, got them. <laughs> Okay, fuck! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I am so sorry. Let me drive my tank over. <laughs> I'll share my health with you. I'm bleeding. I know, it'll get in easier. It's okay, I've played Kirby Superstar. All we need to do is kiss and you get half my health. Are you a fucking idiot? <laughs> no, I'm a fox. I hate that I like you. I like that I hate you, and he walks away. <laughs> Fox, you have been botching this fucking <laughs> since adventures. I want you to realize that that was a whole game ago. Since the moment that saxophone started playing in your heart, everything just fucked. <laughs> Fox accidentally shoots her. Pretty pow! Ever since the sax played in my heart, I was destined for the hospital. <laughs> How are you doing, Falco? Huh? What are you accomplishing right now? Made a sandwich. Um, <laughs> out of parts of my ship. <laughs> Crunch. No hesitation, hey, just quick response. <laughs> in conclusion, fuck it. Out of the way, everybody. So this happened to me. Oh my god. So I apologize for being a bit fucking ornery in the last level, but I'm kind of in a crisis.
Thus died Star Fox. <laughs> I mean, it's cool to see the Great Fox, like, guns actually do something. Yeah. Yeah. Damage capacity exceeded. Too bad. This is a damn it. going out in stock. Enough! Peppy's opened a road for us. We've got to move on. Without him! They just sit here mourning and then... Oh, all the Aperoids take care of them all. Let's move! This part is pretty sad. Like, it got me a little bit when I first saw it. I was like, fuck. It's a really cool Peppy moment. Yeah. Peppy's fucking dead. That's probably one of the better story beats of the Star Fox series. I really liked that scene. No, I could have had the characters actually reacting sadly to it. Yeah, man. Slippy was crying. He even saw the graphics. Falco left a chopped onion in my cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> he left a Falco surprise in my ship, and it's not funny. <laughs> Falco surprise. <laughs> I love that. It's a jack in the box shaped like me. <laughs> <laughs> and that makes Slippy burst into tears. <laughs> do, 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 eat your lasagna. Dad doesn't love you. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Thank God for Falco. <laughs> your name is stupid. <laughs> now we're just getting personal. <laughs> Daddy destruction. <laughs> 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 and then Beltino blows up for real. <laughs> Watch out, Wolf. Keep your advice to yourself and your eyes. Don't give me advice, kiddo. Do we take a right or a left? I have one eye, I can't tell. <laughs> if we lose here, you'll never have the chance. You're saying I do have a chance? Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to ignore the fact that you humped the monitor just now. <laughs> and honked. <laughs> the honking I can deal with. <laughs> Fox does that sometimes himself, so I mean... <laughs> Don't tell him! <laughs> it was supposed to be a surprise! Hey, come on, Crystal Eel. Crystal, you fucking narc. <laughs> Thanks for letting me in back there. And Falco, you really chilled out. Blow yourself up. <laughs> Never mind. How in the world? Look around. You're shaking. What? How do you know that? No, really, I don't know what you said. Can you see my skin? Also, what'd you say? We'll distract him. You I like how Panther said on and Wolf reacted. <laughs> <laughs> Stop flirting with the girl. How come you never flirt with me? I'm bisexual. And I took my cannon back. if you can. Wolf, look at that guy. He really thinks he's the man. Look at him die. I am the man. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say his comms come back in. I am the man. Of your dreams, Crash. If you won't flirt with me, Panther, I'll flirt with everyone else. I'll flirt with myself. <laughs> Damn it, you beat me too. <laughs> that must be the queen. Oh, can't you tell your friends from your enemies? Watch out, everyone. He's up to something. <laughs> Falco. <laughs> Fox is up to something. <laughs> Damn it. Now, Fox, fire that program in there. Um, uh, I'm trying. <laughs> um, um. <laughs> <laughs> Go in. <laughs> it's like a mosquito bumping yes. into one of the lights. All for us. All things in the universe will be ours. What? All for us. Everything in this No, I heard you. I didn't understand. <laughs> Bow before us. Submit to us. What? Is a self-destruct program... <laughs> Not you too, Falco. <laughs> <laughs> but the queen's suppressing it. I give in to the whims of the apomoroid. Fox! 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 
Me! <laughs> you need to keep shooting them until they fully close. If they don't look like pill bugs, they're not fully closed. Yeah, if I got a dollar every time I heard that. From CJ. <laughs> You'd be rich. I'd be rich. But not CJ. No. <laughs> my money, motherfucker. <laughs> CJ's the one who gave you all the bonies. Because you stole it from them. <laughs> Holy shit, you clobbered this boss. It's a thorn to make me feel insignificant as Star Fox. Didn't that happen with Star Fox 64? Yeah. Yeah, we've been over it. I need to stop being in these LPs. <laughs> oh, Jacob, don't be so down on yourself. You're rich now. Hey, Peppy, we did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Right. Oh, All right. okay, here. Slippy, I'm we did it. Super duper. All right. Super duper. <laughs> Destruction is spreading across the entire planet. Isn't it beautiful? So, I guess that's the end of the Aperoids. Clang. It's the end of the Aperoids, eh? She tried to bypass evolution by stealing souls, but you have to be born with one. Damn. Slaughtered by <laughs> Fox <laughs> McCloud. <laughs> right, team? That's the moral we're going with? <laughs> that we're putting down in our report? Here's my impression of being soulless. Falco Lombardi with a cold. Yeah, you. Do -do 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 -do. Crystal, <laughs> get a last name. Would, no. Would you like mine? Fox won't marry me yet, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to be Mrs. McCloud if he wasn't an idiot. I can't believe it. I'm still breathing. Unlike Peppy. <clears throat> but so many casualties. All right. Peppy. Wolf's team. <laughs> who, did, who else died? <laughs> Who's Wolf? Oh! Dead? <laughs> oh no, they're alive! <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna take Peppy's That's room! Cool. Hey, could that be... No, it couldn't. His dresser is really nice. Hey, you're all okay. Whew, that was hairy. I promise I'm really gonna retire after this. It's Crush. He's not dead. No one dies What's in up? Nintendo Land except for James. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> tell me it ain't so, buddy. You knew about this? So that's why you're so calm, you sneaky dog. Hell, I can't control myself anymore. Well. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Slippy, my revival costs one soul. Everyone. Yo. What? What's <laughs> Yes, Fox? Hmm. What now? Fox who? My friends. Fuck you. Sort of like I said, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm done with your shit. Welcome to the bonus Let's Play, a full LP of Xevious in the next three minutes. It's a pretty basic shmup. Yep. Snow Galaga. Nope. Woo! <laughs> but it does have woo. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'll be honest. My eyes hurt. <laughs> I don't know, the longer you play this, the funnier it gets. <laughs> but yeah, Star Fox is sold pretty damn good. All things considered. It is short. Right. But it's also not terribly expensive third hand, or third... Second hand, not third. Second. Third hand by this point. This series didn't necessarily start off with Star Fox 64, but I think a lot of people were introduced to it there. And when that's the baseline, already a gold star, it's hard to reach for there again. Yeah. Yeah, and then they have their strange lateral moves when it comes to sequels that no other Nintendo franchise got. I mean, imagine if Dr. Mario was supposed to be Mario Brothers 3. <laughs> that's an interesting comparison. Yeah, it feels weird that a company with so many franchises that are often criticized for having the exact same game multiple times, or at least very similar, like the Mario Brothers, Legend of Zelda. Star Fox didn't get that, usually. They had so many different turns in the franchise. 
And it feels like if they just did Star Fox 64 again, but without the bullshit of like the Wii U controller, they could easily have a home run. They just never do. Absolutely. They never do. And then strangely enough, they go back to 64 because they're like, well, this game worked because obviously people like this. But they, it's kind of weird because they see the problem, but they don't fix it. People liked it because of the gameplay, not necessarily the story. Don't The story wasn't the winner there. It was fine, but like a little something different. Like, Assault's story was actually not just for a Star Fox game. It's, I think Assault just straight up had a good story, like for a video game. It is just the Borg again, but it was cool. As an update, I don't think I've said this in a video yet. I have beaten Star Fox Zero. I'm never going to play Star Fox Zero again. <laughs> At least it's nice to see Star Fox right before he dies one last time, you know? <laughs> like, if I'm going to play Star Fox Zero, I, I want to be there for the funeral when they lower <laughs> him down in the casket, you know? 